Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Volkswagen Passat Alltrack with us. It's in a station wagon form, which is a very capable and all-round family car from the Volkswagen Group. Uh, nowadays, people tend to buy SUVs, but I think actually in the station wagon form, it's got the practicality and also the size is not that tall, meaning that the center gra of gravity is lower, uh, less drag, uh, in terms of driving dynamics, it's probably better than most SUVs. So today I'll do a review of this car from the outside to the inside and do a drive and show you the driving impressions I have with this car. So please come along with the ride and enjoy the video. So let's look at the outside of the car first. I really like the understated look of the Passat. Uh, design is very simple, elegant but yet it's got this very masculine look as well to it because of the body creases like the lines on the hood and the middle shadow line that goes right from the all track badge all the way to the rear tail light that looks very nice and very sculptured it's quite a long car actually and looks very squat, lower down and very long. So it's a very elegant looking car. So in the front, we have the chrome grills and the VW badge with the old track logo on the side. We've got the fog lights and these vents in the front are all functional for the radiators for cooling and I like the new design of the VW cars where the headlight is actually aligned with the grille so you create this very horizontal and wide look which looks pretty amazing we've got the alloy wheels it's 19 inch in the front and also 19 inch at the back. The wheels are quite okay. The size is 245. Obviously, this is a all-wheel drive. It's got the full motion um, system. So yes, it will pull you out of trouble with the full motion technology if you ever get stuck. On the side mirror, we have the side camera. So this one's got the 360 camera. We've got the chrome trim on the windows around. We have privacy glass at the back and two roof rails on the top. That is standard with this vehicle. So moving towards the back, it's a very distinctive Volkswagen design. We've got the tail lights in LED, the Passat logo, and the VW logo as well. So there are no openings for the exhaust pipe. So these are not functional. These are not actual exhaust pipes. The actual exhaust pipe is actually down here. So it's actually angled downwards and hidden behind the rear bumper. So to open the tailgate, basically you push the logo in from the top and it's a electrically assisted tailgate. It's got auto open and close. 
So the luggage space is actually very large. You can see it's very flat, wide and very deep. So we do the tripod test. Putting a tripod in is very, very easy. We've got the chair folding lever, the 12V socket, anchor points for the child seats, and a cover that you can pull to cover up your belongings. Under this cover, we also have a spare wheel. This is always very handy to have when you are going on a longer road trip. With the cover mechanism, there is also a net. These holes where the net can fix itself to. So underneath the bonnet, we have a 2 liter straight 4 turbo petrol engine that produces 220 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque. Um, it's got actually quite a lot of space in the engine compartment actually. So it's quite nice, easy to work on. We've got these braces for more rigidity. That's really good. It's actually a good engine actually. Uh, the way they tuned it uh, makes this car very easy to drive, very smooth and very pokey actually. You don't feel um, the power is not enough. So we are sitting at the driver's seat right now. So let's look at the interior of the front seats. The steering wheel is very nice. It's actually very nice to hold. We've got two physical gauges, one for the revs, the other one for speed, and a center digital screen right in front of you. So with the steering wheel, we have the cruise control on one side and a multi-control for your center digital screen right here on your right hand side. So you can toggle through them. So you can toggle through the different systems, navigation, audio, telephone, vehicle status, driving data. So you can go up and down to toggle, toggle through different sub-menus. The central infotainment screen right here, it's very typical uh, Volkswagen uh, infotainment screen. We've got the menu right here. It's got the basic settings right there. We've got the apps, the nav, the radio, the media, the phone, and voice control. Like quick access buttons you can press Unfortunately, these are touch sensitive buttons, so they are not physical. Um, sometimes they can get quite annoying because they get a lot of fingerprints and also you don't feel the tactile feeling of an actual button. Um, same goes for the uh, AC system as well. So these are all touch sensitive. Uh, we have the gear lever right here. Engine start. Parking assist. This is the parking sensors. We've got different modes. So we, let's press that. So once you press that, you can select different modes. It's got the eco, comfort, normal, sport, individual, and off-road. So this vehicle also comes loaded with a lot of safety features. If you go to assist setting, you can see it's got the ACC cruise control, the front assist. This is the front collision, collision uh, warning. Also the lane keep assist, side assist, which is the blind spot monitoring, the driver alert system, and also the protective occupant uh, protection system. So I really like the front seats. They're lined in leather and it's all electrically adjusted and we've got memory seats here as well and i believe this comes also with a massage function with these seats so when you are driving on a long journey that's a very amazing function to have
Wow, so the rear seats, there's a lot of space actually. This is my driving position. I'm 175 seven centimeters. So we have quite a lot of headroom and also ample uh, knee room. So at the back, everything's lined in leather. And also we've got this very nice silver stitching along the seats. So we're inside the Passat All Track. We are going for a little drive and I'll show you the driving impressions. So first off the bat, the steering wheel is actually very light. Uh, so it's very easy for daily use. In comfort mode, the ride is actually very compliant, very, very comfortable. And the throttle response is actually very good. Uh, because the car is actually not very heavy, it's only about just less than 1.6 tons. So compare the station wagon with some of the SUVs, where SUVs are larger uh, and can get heavier. So that's the advantage of owning a station wagon as well. So it feels quite light on its feet, even though it's only got 220 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque it still feels quite pokey, uh, especially at lower speeds, which is really, really good to have. But because of the soft compliant suspension, you see this went through a bump. You, it's, it actually soaked it up very, very well. But the downside of it is you can feel quite a bit of body roll when you are turning into corners. So in eco mode, the throttle response becomes really, really lazy. Uh, basically, you put your foot down, nothing happens. Um, it's trying to make sure you don't do uh, sudden accelerations uh, to increase fuel consumption. And if we turn the mode to sport, You can immediately feel the throttle response and the engine output becomes much sharper, much stronger. Uh, it's a very nice feel actually. Again, as I said, because of the car is not very heavy, uh, it feels very punchy, uh, feels quite powerful. And with the seven speed DSG, uh, it's a perfect match actually. Um, the computer is very smart. Once you put your foot down, Basically, it will downshift and give you the best power uh, rev range. And also, the support becomes much better than in comfort mode. When you are cornering, uh, you can feel the suspension is firmer and gives you much more support. There is an individual mode as well that is really, really good to have. So you can basically customize the way you want this car to drive. So you can change the suspension firmness, the weight of the steering, uh, the engine output as well. So that's very good. You can basically toggle from uh, eco to normal to sport, uh, basically to suit your driving style and your driving characteristics of the car. So the driving impression is very pleasant actually with this vehicle. Uh, with these different modes, it basically caters for all your driving needs basically. And because of its size, uh, it feels much nimbler to drive and lower center of gravity compared to an SUV. And it's also a very, very smart looking and very practical car as well. So 
So thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this review of the Passat All Track. We'll be bringing you more content on all sorts of different cars. So please subscribe and remember to hit that like button or leave any comments you have about this car and we'll be very happy to answer all of them. So again, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.